Welcome to the Data Barracks Classroom. Uh, my name's George and today we're going to be talking about how to back up locked files. Uh, traditionally files are locked um, when an application or a user uh, opens that file. An uh, example of this would be a Word document. Uh, a user opens that Word document. Uh, the file is then classed as being locked. Uh, this is because the user is either editing or modifying that file uh, and that can only be done by one person at a time. Typically, backup software will scan the network for files that have been modified in order to back them up, say, on a nightly basis. Um, when a backup software finds a file that has been modified, uh, it will try to back it up. However, if the file is locked or is still held open by an application, it will fail to back up that file. Therefore, one way to get around this is to enable something called VSS, or Volume Shadow Copy. Uh, Volume Shadow Copy is a, a Windows uh, service that runs uh, in the background uh, and what the backup software can do is it can request a Volume Shadow Copy is taken of those files. What happens is the Volume Shadow Copy sits just behind the original file and when the backup comes along it will look at the VSS copy or the, the shadow edition of that file in order to back it up. This is a good way of circumventing the issue where we can't back up lock files due to users or applications holding them open. Uh, VSS uh, has uh, good features and bad features. Um, VSS can be flaky or uh, it can sometimes fail. Uh, the main reason being that it can only be called upon uh, by one service at a time. So therefore, if you have two or three backup applications uh, and they all try to request uh, the use of VSS on the same server at the same time, um, one or two may fail uh, and one may succeed. Um, VSS does use a small uh, part of the storage on your, on your SAN or your server, uh, so you will have to allocate a little bit of space in order for the volume shadow copies to be created. However, VSS does have some really good features about it. Uh, the main features that are really good are the ability to back up databases in a, uh, in a good state. Uh, this is especially for, important for, say, Exchange or SQL. Um, you get a clean backup of the uh, database uh, without any sort of discrepancies or mismatches. Uh, one of the other things about VSS that uh, has become quite important uh, is its use within snapshotting. Uh, so therefore, if you're taking a snapshot of a virtual machine, there are now a lot of options within the snapshotting softwares to uh, call upon the VSS to take a shadow copy image of the, uh, of the virtual machine first uh, and then take the snapshot itself. Uh, this allows for a clean, uh, consistent backup of, say, an operating system or indeed a database.